The one and only way to get better at drawing is to draw, obviously, but let's go into detail of what you can do to reach your goal. Tip number one, draw daily. Drawing is a learning process. It's like learning a new language. You need to practice continually to improve your drawing skills. It's like riding a boat that swims against the tide. If you stop drawing, your boat will just drift all the way back and you might lose your progress. Tip number two, use a sketchbook. You don't need to create full colored artworks every day to improve your drawing skills. Even small drawings, nature studies or even a few little doodles every day are great to not lose track. Keeping a sketchbook with you can help you to collect your ideas and to practice wherever you are. A sketchbook can be like your own personal diary. You can do experiments, mistakes, write down your feelings or create new ideas. Tip number three, draw from life. It seems so boring at first. Why should I draw a bowl of fruits? Why should I draw real people or anatomy if I just want to draw manga or comic style? You simply need to know the basics. Drawing from life will help you to understand how every figure is built. For example, if you really like to draw human characters, it's important to study the human body and its proportions. Try to draw what you actually see. Try to visually analyze every curve and shape. Drawing from life will help you to understand how every figure is built. Expand your knowledge and your drawing skills. And you really don't need special schools to do that. You can draw everywhere from life. Just grab your sketchbook and go sit down in a cafe, the world is full with things you can draw. Tip number four, use references. Let's stay with the example of drawing humans. You won't get better if you're drawing your character always in the same pose and from the same position. If you're always doing that, you're going to avoid everything you can't imagine. That's why you need to study different poses. Your hand needs to be like a scanner to collect all the information and, and save them in your head. If you have internalized what you've learned, you can call it up every time you want. Nobody can draw everything out of his mind. And you really don't need to know everything. What's important is to know where to get the right information you need. Using references is helpful and important, but you should never copy a full picture, otherwise you're just creating a ripoff. Tip number five, copy, but don't steal. We all have our big inspirations and role models and most people copy their idols when they start to draw, me included. At the beginning, it's okay to copy the drawing style of another artist. You need to begin somewhere. By copying, you're able to learn a lot about techniques and the build-up of a picture. The only thing you're stealing is the know-how of the artist. And don't worry, if you have mastered the basics, you will be able to develop your own drawing style. And then, of course, you should stop copying. Getting an own drawing style just happens. It happens by itself. Another important thing is never claim copied stuff as your own. Always give credit to the original source, especially if you're uploading copied art. Tip number six, use different media. You should be open to do experiments with different art tools and techniques to keep on track and to expand your knowledge. Depending on the media you're trying out, you can get new ideas for new works 
and maybe you will find the special suitable medium you never want to miss again and that makes your work special. Tip number seven, get out of your comfort zone. Okay, everybody has something he likes to draw over and over again, as well as everybody has something he avoids to draw, like hands or backgrounds, for example. Getting out of your comfort zone means to deal with something you don't like to do, especially if it's essential to learn. Back to the example of if you like to draw human characters. It will get pretty complicated if you're creating characters, but you don't like to draw hands or full body figures. Most of the time it seems more difficult than it actually is. On the same hand, no one masters anything without hard work. So face your fears and practice the things you're avoiding. Tip number eight, critique yourself. To improve your skills, you need to know your weak points and your strong points. It's important to be able to analyze your own works without discouraging yourself. It's really not easy to do that, but it will help you to train your visual understanding, to analyze faster and also finding room for improvement easier. Try to look at your work objectively. Take your feelings and emotions out of this process. Take some distance to your work and look at it carefully. What do you see? What do you like if you look at it? And what would you like to change? You can find mistakes easier by turning the picture sideways and against the light. If the face structure of your drawing is crooked or the eyes seem perspectively off, you will see it instantly in this way. Also try not to look at only one work of yours. Try to keep an eye on your entire works. Have you improved over time? Sometimes it can be also easier to take the position of an outsider's perspective. Try to imagine what they would say about your work. Of course, it's also good to get critic by real people, but it's important to be able to see your own improvement and your room to improve. Don't be mean to yourself. Seeing your weak points is a good sign that your eyes are already trained. Now you just need to catch up with practicing your drawing skills. Tip number nine. Take breaks. The point of taking breaks from drawing is to give your mind the chance to get room for new ideas and inspiration through doing other things that will stimulate your brain. Sometimes artists do suffer from art blocks because they are sometimes pushing themselves too hard and then they are finding new mistakes but no solution. So motivation is lacking and BAM! They are blocking and starting having doubts about themselves. What you need is to find the right balance between learning and the right amount of breaks, where you do something like going outside for a walk, meeting up with friends, watching a movie and so on. You need to distress yourself to gain new energy. We need to do different things to stimulate our brain to give our brain new input, then you will be able to get back to work with new energy and you can refocus on problems easier where you had no solution before. Also, getting enough sleep is pretty important to save up new learned things in our mind. And tip number 10, love what you're doing and create with passion. Through all these learning progress and hard work and frustrating moments, we always need to remember ourselves to create our works with love and passion. As an artist, you will always have enough room for improvement and you need to be patient with yourself. 
So I hope these tips are helpful for you. And I would like to know what helped you to improve your drawing skills. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked this video and be subscribed to my channel if you want to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next Friday and stay creative. Bye bye!